Yeah, hi there. These comments are for uh, Rafat. This is Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for the seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a, um, a video evaluation of your particular essay that you submitted, but I wanted to ask you an opinion first. So you said you finished integrated test two, attempt number nine. Now it's still incomplete. Now I think you can probably do a little bit better. I'd like to see you develop your response a little bit more before I do my evaluation. So let me ask you a question. You'll notice when you look at the reading passage in the lecture, the lecture or the reading passage discusses or makes an assertion that Christopher Columbus, after his first voyage, discovered that the world was round. Right? That's kind of the assertion that's made in the reading passage. Now, also in the reading passage, uh, it explains two other voyages that Christopher Columbus went on and it talks about some of the things that happened in those voyages. Of course, that's not the most important information. The main thing is, is the assertion that Christopher Columbus discovered that the world was round. Now, you don't have to spend too much time in that. You can just briefly summarize some of the key points of the reading passage. Now, the lecture is more important because the lecture contradicts the assertion made in the reading passage, right? So it explains that the, the fact that Christopher Columbus discovered that the world was round or that at, at some point he thought it was flat, they're saying that that was a myth. That's kind of one of the main points of the lecture now. But the other thing that you didn't really discuss is, is where this myth originated from. I think you have to spend more time looking at that area. So why did people believe the myth? Who started the myth that Christopher Columbus at some point thought the world was flat? So he went on a voyage to prove to the earth or to prove to mankind that it was actually round. So I'd like to see you develop your response a little bit more. You've written maybe 160 words. You're looking for 250 words. So let's do this. I want you to go back to the video, read the passage, and then look at the lecture, listen to the lecture, try to figure out who started the myth. What is the origin of the myth that Christopher Columbus thought at some point the world was flat, right? And then explain that in more detail, I think, in the practice test, and then you will have a much better response. At that point, then I'll go and video and make all the corrections and give you some suggestions about smoothing sentence style and all those kinds of things. Am I making sense here? So uh, anyway, it's your choice though. I can go ahead and, and completely correct everything now, but I'm not sure if it's going to do you that good. It's probably better for you to figure out what you want to add and how you want to add it before I actually do the complete video evaluation. Now, if anybody else is watching this video, uh, uh, this is uh, Rafat, who is one of my online students, and he's paid for an additional service to have me error correct all of his essays. So that's kind of what we're talking about right now. All right, Rafat, so let me know. Uh, go ahead and rewrite the essay one more time, develop your response more, and then I will do a video evaluation of it.